I missed the second question. You're doing spreadsheets more to... To create a lot of tiddlers for the terrorist characters for yep. my wiki. How's that working? It's going kind of okay so far. I, I don't know how you... Um, you must know no ways of saving work more than I do for making spreadsheets. Um, probably. Um, <laughs> spreadsheets are, um, share your screen. Yeah. Spreadsheets are one of those things that I think I discovered in like 1984. Um, and so it's not fair, you know, so what is that? 20, so like, yeah, 25 years ago, it, it adds up. So, so yeah, there's lots to do. Um, the way that I approach spreadsheets is sort of the same as TiddlyWiki. I can't tell you how many times I Google something for like, how do you do this in Google Sheets? And um, even stuff that I knew, but it, it, it isn't really so much how do you do it, but like, how do you know that you can do it? Um, and so that's like, it's tough, but you'll get there. Um, and so I'll show you some stuff, but let's, but usually you, just, you can ask. Um, but I know that's annoying too. Um, the other thing with spreadsheets is to, um, sometimes you can do like transitional coding. So if you, if you create, start creating sheets and one of them has your raw data and then another sheet has your fiddlers, you can do your work in your raw data sheet and then, you know, maybe in, across several columns. And then, yeah, so let's look at what we've got here. I've just really been working with the raw data sheet so far. Mm -hmm. And you're, are you typing these values in? Like, so like, um, so your raw data, so look at your, let's look at your raw data. Go? Yep, I can see my raw data. Yeah, I know, that makes one of us. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Cool, so, okay, so the file name, so that's your picture. Where'd you get the pictures from? Wherever? I, those I, those I haven't done anything with yet. That's, this is the sheet I copied from the multi-sequential narrative, I think. Oh, this is mine, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is stuff, oh, I, this is stuff that I sent you, right? Yeah, and I've been adjusting it. Yeah, and you're trying to figure out what on earth do I do with this, okay. Now I got it, so let me walk you through a little bit, yeah, because that was like incredibly mean to say, hey, here's some bizarre spreadsheet from a project eight years ago that I haven't looked at since. So let's see how my memory is. Um, so well, this isn't that. What's that? This isn't that spreadsheet. This is the multi-sequential narrative spreadsheet, I think. Okay. So let's let's just start. Let's look at your raw data and start in column A. I'm I'm seeing B now. I can see A. There it is. File name. Okay. So what? So that is a that's a picture stored where or what or. I don't know anything about the uh, the pictures. I just I haven't adjusted those yet. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. You inherited this, and so those you don't know anything about that. Okay. So if you don't know what it is, you can just get rid of it. Don't worry about it. But we'll keep it there. Okay. And then the name is you're giving people names, right? Yep. I've been copying those from the uh, whatever that document is I'm using. Okay. Um, And then what's column C? It used right. to be object. So what's your, okay, so I'm not, okay. Um, and then let's just keep going across. So you've got name terrorist. 
And the caption is also just left over from, uh, it was there to begin with. Right. I'm curious how you have the, uh, the cells set up. So say this cell, um, Oh, well, if I copy and paste this cell, I'll get the same thing in the second one. But there's got to be a better way of making each cell reference, say, the cell to the left on its own line. Well, if you want an exact copy, you can just go equals. So equals A2. If you're in, if you're in B2, you can go equals A2, and it's an exact copy. Okay, but what you're trying to do with your caption there is to write a caption to some picture or just to sort of get a feel for it, right? Yeah, both. So what D2, the formula that you've got in cell D2 says, go over and grab the value of C2 and yeah. put a space and then the letters OF and then another space and go over and grab the value of F2 you know, continue on, right? And then you copy, so once that works in D2, if you want to copy that all the way down, you just copy it. So let's say that you, so um, you have a, is this like, do you have another copy of this? Can we play with this? I should make a copy. Yeah. You always make a copy before you let me play with your stuff. Because <laughs> it'll never be the same. And um, have you shared this with me? Or could, could you also share this with me so that I can see it too, so that way we don't have to worry so much about the screen lag? Yeah. Um, so part of... Go ahead. Anyone? Is anyone recording this? Um, James is. Oh, I got it. I couldn't, couldn't tell. Yeah, just make it shareable to everybody, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, and so Zoom's been terrible lately. It's just the, um, the lag in the screen is we spend more time waiting for the screen to catch up than we do actually having the conversations. I don't know what to do about that. Um, Cause I'm looking at a blank screen right now and you're probably not right here. here. Everybody left. No, I'm still here. I think Kara got kicked out. Yeah. You came back? I'm back. Yep, I'm back. Yeah, so share your screen again. Yeah. It looks like she has a really bad internet connection right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you know what I think we'll do? Because I think your internet, you'll probably be able to watch, but you can't broadcast for some reason. Hmm, okay. We'll, so we'll, we'll give it another Oh, show. you can join me on the sidelines, Kira. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. So, so, what you, so we were over in cell D2. Yeah, here this this stuff doesn't seem like it's going to work tonight from your standpoint. Um, but we can review this, and I think that you'll see some of the stuff I'm about to do will be relevant to the questions you were asking. Okay. Um, but I think what you want to do is you want once you get cell D two perfected, you just copy it all the way down. Is that you know that right? Yeah, yeah. But then I'll get exactly the same thing as what's in D two. 
No, no, no. It will automatically adjust. So in D2, um, when you copy that to D3, D4, that's fine. Paste. Um, okay, undo. I see what you did. Undo that. Okay, now arrow up. Don't edit the cell. Just arrow and grab. Okay, one more. And copy from there. And then go down a cell. And paste. And so it changes, the whole point of the spreadsheet and formulas is it changes the cell references that are to be relative or not relative, depending on whether you put a dollar sign in front of them. So I think what you're, and you can do the whole column at once. So I think what you're needing to do is learn, and you can read about this somewhere. There's lots of tutorials out there. What you want to do is understand relative and non-relative cells in spreadsheets. Okay. And so, so let me grab the screen and kind of show you the same concept in a slightly different way. Um, okay, let me just throw this up there. So, um, yeah, it's in this one. Actually, I think I've got the wrong I do. I'm sorry. Got too many Google comps and too, too many Google drives. You can track it as more complex than a lot of it. Um, what I wanted to explore with, with here um, is this idea of creating and thinking about, uh, and let me share this. This is the, um, is that you, Hagar, who just came into the spreadsheet? It doesn't matter. But anyway, you can get to, just, if anyone wants to get to the spreadsheet on their own, the link is shared. And if you need it, just let me know. Okay. Um, and so what I'm doing is I want to be able to take this chart, um, which allows you to compare hypertextual techniques, including tagging, templating, and filtering, and asks about different writing practices, writing to think, creating interactives, and refactoring. And then here is where that little magic happens. And, and um, Kira, this is exactly the issue I think that you were raising. Okay. Um, so let me check on participants. Um, hey, Garth, I think you're picking up a lot of um, buzz from you. So, oh, sorry, I'll mute myself. Hang yeah, on. I think so. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. It was you. I knew it was you. Um, so, so um, Kira, this is, I think if I zoom in, does that make it bigger for you guys? Let me check that. Does that make it bigger and visible now? Yes. Okay. So let's take a look at this. So what we end up with is the value of C2 transcluding, and then the word while, which I type in, and then the value of B2 writing to think. So down here, it's also transcluding while creating interactives, transcluding while refactoring. And here it becomes tagging while writing to think. And so do you see where we're heading and what we're trying to do there? Is that clear enough? I'm going to... 
bring these over a little bit like that so they um, um, this needs a space in it. Okay, so do you see what we're trying to do there, Kira, and, and what we're aiming for? Not exactly. Okay, so if this tiddler here was called Kira instead of transcluding, then the word Kira would get substituted below. Yeah. Okay, okay so it's transcluding, so I'm going to put it back. And the source of that comes from, in this case, this cell, the, the technique above it, and the practice to its left. Okay? You with me there? I just lost everyone again, right? No, I'm here. You're here. Okay, I'm going to continue on because we're recording this and if it doesn't go. So we're looking for that. And so the formula is written here. So let's go up and grab the value of C2, insert the word while, and then go over and grab the value of B3. But you'll notice these dollar signs in the C2 and in the B3. So this putting the dollar sign in front of the row number means that when you copy this formula, like down, don't adjust the row number. So it stays as C2, C2, C2. Okay, and in fact, if you copy it across, it's going to stay as row two throughout the whole table. But because I didn't put a dollar sign in the front of C like that, then it will actually allow the column to there. So here's column C2 because it's in column C. This is B2, E2, and F2. Okay. And so you got that. And then yes. when we're going down, we're going to, instead of tacking down or nailing down the column two, we want to nail row B because everything that we want is in row B. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll just color these temporarily. So there's the, the blue that we nail down and um, come on. We'll, we'll make these a slightly different color. We'll make these some pale yellow. Okay. Um, and so because of the way that I wrote the, um, uh, da -da 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 -da. Because of the way I wrote the formulas, I either nailed down the blue or the light yellow. So, so do you kind of do you see that that strategy there of at least building tiddlers, or I'm sorry, building cells based on column based on values that are relative to the cell? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So that and so that's I think and so you know if I if I wanted I've written this and I should be able to copy this. Oh, and it works. Isn't that wonderful? Because all of the relative cells will automatically adjust, and all the ones that I want to be lit, nailed down will stick. Um, so what I'm going to do is take these, this cell, and um, I'm going to go to tiddlywiki.com and download an empty. I'll save it. I'm gonna, I'll do this in um, Dropbox. We're going to call this the, um, come on, design right templating exercise on HTML. And I'll just save it in my Dropbox in my design right folder. So it will be where I want it. And I'll save it. Um, I'm writing in Firefox. It's a brand new one, so I have to reopen it in Firefox. Design right template and exercise it asks, I hope, if I want to save it, and it does, so now I should be good to go. Um, the first thing I do is I get a Dropbox link for this. Here's the link. I copy the link. I'll put it in the new Tiddler Dropbox link. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but Dropbox has changed a little bit. You can paste a link. Replace the www dot with a DL, and it will save. Um, and then if you click that, you should be opening the same version of the wiki in the on Dropbox or in Firefox. So um, 
Hey, Garth, I will send you a link to the Dropbox file, and I'll send it to you, James, too, and Kira, in case you want to look at it. Awesome. Live. Awesome. Thanks for that. Yeah, so you've got it live now. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, – to design right um, because I just happened to remember long ago we talked about doing tiddly tables and there was this cool little tool in tiddly tables um, converts there it is converts spreadsheet to tiddly table Um, and this is super, super kludgy tool. Sometimes it works here, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and I'm going to paste in, that's not what I want. Um, my clipboard buffer was hidden. So let me paste in the contents from the spreadsheet that I was playing in. Remember I co copied and pasted that and then I'll hit translate and does it work? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'll go to the source. That's not working either. Then there's a, I think it's this one that works. I should get rid of the other one. All right, I have to, yeah, I will make this, I knew that I had to make this tool work better. Um, so for some reason, and so you see it, what it did there, um, I will make this a little bit more accessible. Um, the magic that it does is it takes that text that we pasted in there um, and writes it to a table. Um, that looks pretty good. And I'll just call this my table for now. Um, okay, so now I've got these all written in there, but I'd like these to be actual links to tiddlers. Um, so I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and um, create, I have to turn this right there into a tiddle, um, which I can do by putting brackets around it. So not, so square brackets and the name of the tiddler that I'm trying to create and then, and a closing set of square brackets. Um, that looks pretty good. So I should be able to copy that four cross, one, two, three, four down. Okay, so now I've got a um, set of Tiddler titles that I can copy paste. So I'm gonna go back to that tool, um, select all, delete, paste, and I'll translate that, select all, copy, and I want to go edit my table, select all the code, delete, and paste, and now I've got a um, now I've got a table that's all written as tiddlers. Okay, because ultimately that's what I want to do. So because the exercise I'm trying to write is going to ask people in the class to fill out two or three of these tiddlers, the ones about templating, the ones about filtering. So you kind of want to begin to fill these out. You might want to go back and do these for previous exercises, but right now we're going to concentrate in here. So I'm going to ask you to write a little bit about and share your experiences of templating while you're doing this practice of writing to think or while you're creating an interactive or while you're engaging the practice of refactoring. So I wanted to have those tiddlers named. Um, so that was kind of where I started. And then I began to think, well, I can just go ahead and do a lot more than that. Um, and so I came, ooh, that's a little small, but I'll, that's probably better, right? So I began to think of, well, what would all the tiddlers that I would want to have, what would they be called? And I began to name them. Um, so I'm gonna, I started with 
these, you know, the, all this, the little objects that we were just playing with, the transcluding while writing to think. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my table. So clearly I wanted this to be a tiddler. Transcluding, I want to be a tiddler. Writing to think, creating interactives, techniques being practiced. All of these 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, all of these 20, I definitely want to be tiddlers. Um, these tiddlers, I'm going to collar them right now briefly. I'll make them a pale yellow. I want to tag these tiddlers as something like objects or project tiddlers, right? Because those are the ones that were, those have a special meaning. I probably want to tag these. I'll give them a color briefly. Let's, put, let's make them a little pink. So these pinks are really hypertextual techniques. So they're going to have to get tagged themselves to hypertextual techniques. And these the three that I'm going to highlight now, and I'll color them. I'll put them in a light blue for the moment. Those are really um, um, practices. So I'm going to want to tag them to practices. Okay, um, this yellow one, transcluding while writing to think, I will tag it both as an object, as a project object, or a technique being practiced, I think is what we'll call them in this case. But also I want to tag it to transcluding and writing to think. Okay, so the, the yellow ones are going to get a tag for their yellowness, in this case because it's about, it's called a technique being practiced. They're going to get a tag, a tag for their pinkness or their hypertextual technique and they're going to get a tag for their blueness or the practice that they reference. So these 16 tiddlers, these sorry, these uh, 12 tiddlers are going to get three tags each. Okay. And so I do, in my raw tiddlers file, I began to um, tag them. I tag everything to a primary tag. What kind of tiddler is it? In this case, it's a technique being practiced. I tag it to its hypertextual technique if it has one. Let me, um, uh, these are not going to wrap, so I can't open them up. Um, I tag it to the practice if it has one. Um, and object type, I think I'm not using object type, so I can just delete that row um, or that column. So I'm going to delete column D. Okay. Um, <laughs> And I also included tech, um, tiddlers for the transcluding, tagging, templating, filtering, writing practices, writing to think, creative interactives, and refactoring, right? So I tag right, these three practices to writing practices. Writing practice itself is a project dimension. I tag filtering, templating, tagging, and transcluding to hypertextual techniques. Hypertextual techniques itself is a project dim dimension. Um, the techniques being practiced as project objects. I'm a little fuzzy on that right now. Um, and I'm going to introduce templates in a minute. So I'll skip that. And, um, and I think that's it. I think everything else is sort of covered. So this being a project about templates, I decided that I would try to create tiddlers, in this case, project objects template, project dimensions template, Hypertextual techniques template, techniques being practiced template, and practices template. A template is a way of displaying data, as you'll see when you read the references and the reading, but it's a way of filtering data, a way of capturing data based on the tiddlers that it might, the filter might catch. So the, every time we have a tiddler that's tagged practices, um, a tiddler that's tagged practices, which is going to be the um, writing to think, creating interactives and refactoring, we're going to want to display it a certain way. Every time we have a tiddler that's tagged dimensions, we're going to want to display it a certain way or technique or technique being practiced. So that's how we're ultimately going to use these templates. Um, so a little over, I did a little bit more work over here. Um, I put in some design right permalinks um, to tiddlers that I already have built in design right. Um, I have to do a little bit of messing around to get it to read properly. Um, so I think I have to take the space out of here. Um, otherwise, the permalinks don't generate themselves as links because they have spaces. And you've probably come across that before. Um, and so I built some permalinks to design right. Um, 
And I think that's why I did writing to think in creative interactives without spaces as well. Um, come on. But I'll let that go for now. We'll just, we'll know that some of the things aren't going to work. And that's part of the, part of this is that, you know, some of the stuff's just not going to perfectly work. Um, this is the template filter. This is the, um, this is going to be the first line of your template. And we'll talk about that. But this is, this is really the code that I want people to be working on in the templating exercise. Um, and if you look at it, it's, it's sort of annoying, a little bit messy. But everything is right here in the name of the tiddler. Um, so in this case, it's looking Hey, so Steve, quick question on that. Yeah. Yeah, I see you've put that into a field called template filter. Wouldn't that have been better in the text field so that it actually yes. appears there and does something? Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to do that too. Um, in fact, you see it's also in the text, text field. Um, the reason I put it in a field called template filters because that way I've got it there and I can mess with oh, it. Oh, I see it there now, yeah. But I also ran it into the text field. You're absolutely, I was going to come back to that. I was going to say, right, sorry. Displaying. That's all right. Um, and, and I built this because I was kind of playing here. And so we don't really need this in the tiddlers themselves. The same with the reference, okay? So you see I've got reference link down here. Let me go to the reference tiddlers. They're on the, there's, I'm going to ask you to read four things, two Tiddlers and tiddlywiki.com, um, a little piece on hypertext templates from back in the 90s, and a little piece in Wikipedia about what a web template system is, just so you get this word template in your mind. And, and I kind of did a very quick on that. I get a, did a source, a title, and a link. And then I created Tiddlers um, for reference Tiddlers, um, tagged to background readings, and the title is the whatever B2 was probably the title. And then you'll see I asked the text to be the, to have the value of the link field. Um, I tag it to background readings and I built links. And I kind of just did this by hand. Um, actually, I did. I went, I, I, um, here's the formula for that in the spreadsheet. And Kira, this is another one that um, would help you as you begin to work across multiple sheets. Um, so let me um, get back there. So this says, put a couple of square brackets in first, and then go get the value of the um, sheet called readings and cell C2. And um, Google Sheets writes that for you. You don't have to write the name of your sheets. If you change the name of your sheets, Google changes them. And um, you'll, 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 once you get the feel for it, you'll understand it really quickly. Um, so go get reading C2 and reading A2 and put a little vertical bar between them and it makes this thing that you're very familiar with in Wikipedia that works as code. So in TiddlyWiki that works as code. So basically what I'm doing is writing a bunch of TiddlyWiki code, but I don't have to do it, you know, once I get this right, I can just copy this formula down for every reference. So it's really a way of understanding what my document's gonna look like and all the different Tiddlers result, you know, floating around ahead of time. This is a, I use this as a planning document. Um, and then we'll see if it works, right? So you never know. Um, and this is annoying. And um, sometimes it takes a lot longer than it should. So I'm going to download as a CSV. I'll save it. Um, I'm going to put this in Dropbox. Um, and in fact, it's in my guided development templating folder already because you see I've done this before. Um, so I'll just call this raw tiddlers.csv. Um, it downloads, I can open it. Um, show in Finder and open with, I open it with text edit. Um, put it on my left side. It doesn't look like anything I want to think about, but it looks pretty good. Um, I copy it all to my buffer so it's sitting there. Go back to designer. Although I've been doing this so long that the CSV to JSON converter is the second C in my Firefox. So it comes right there. Um, and when you do this often enough, you'll see it too. So clear the input, paste the input. Um, 
don't die, CSV to JSON, download the result, save the file, should be in the same uh, directory and we're gonna call this raw tiddlers.json. I like to name it, uh, I usually even click on this file and then just change the, um, um, the um, file type from CSV to JSON. I like to keep my file sort of with the same name. Um, and now the moment of truth that's always fun. And this sort of works most of the time. Um, so we'll import um, Dropbox rawtiddlers.json and um, they worked because if you see them they worked. Um, don't know what that stuff is. That's not what we want here. So uh, I'm going to close that. And I don't know why my import is has the last thing I imported in Tiddly Wiki. That's really strange. Let's try that again. I've never seen that happen. Um, yeah, I've seen that quite a lot, Steve. That's something to do with the state of the Tiddly Wiki being saved. So I think, so if that happens, the solution is probably to close your, you have to clear your cache, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Firefox preferences, um, advanced, I think. Um, network, bizarre. Um, I don't know why it's under network, but clear cache now. Okay. And I had never seen that happen. So this is the one that I think I'm working in. Yes. I'm going to just change the name of this so that I know that it's the right one. This is the, um, um, and what's it called? Templating exercise. Yeah, that's the Dropbox version. So well, that's <laughs> um, And Steve, why are you doing that? Yeah, and maybe that was the problem. Maybe I was importing it into the Dropbox version, not into my local version. Let me try that again. Now I'll never know because I, I, um, I cleared the cache in Firefox. No, I didn't do it. Those are not the ones that I want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and import these because I can't imagine that all those tiddlers are going to come in, but I was totally wrong. They did. Now I'm stuck with them. <laughs> uh, um, that was not what I wanted to have happen. Um, hmm. So, I, so yeah, it's good that we're recording this, otherwise I wouldn't have believed this. That this actually happened. Um, hey, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. While you're working on that, I've actually sent you a link uh, using Bit. Do uh, to our Tiddly CRM sample data spreadsheet, which uses pretty much the same techniques as you're teaching in the um, in the guided development this week. So if if you want to take a look at that, you don't have to, but if you want to take a look at that as part of the workshop, it might right. be interesting. It's almost the same, it's the same thing, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I, um, I'm going to start with another wiki and Firefox. Um, I don't like this new vert way of clearing cash. I don't, it doesn't feel like it's. I quite, think you're clearing the wrong one. Yeah. Cash web content. Yeah, where is that? Right above the offline web content. Thank you. 
That's what I have to clear. Okay. I knew it, was, I knew it didn't feel right. Okay, so that's a little better. Um, so I'm back to a fresh tiddlywinky. Um, and one of the things that I think I should have done differently is reduce the, the value that we each place on an individual wiki file. Wiki files are like Google Docs files or Word files. You just create zillions of them. You know, they're not these special objects that you, you live with forever. You just create them willy-nilly whenever you need to. Um, so I think it's important to sort of to, to think of them that way. Um, so Hagar, you need another Dropbox link. Um, I'm sorry, I missed that, Steve. Yeah, Hagar, I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send all of you guys a new link. Oh, yes. Yeah, because we just trashed out last. Yep. Um, yeah, we just trashed out last week. It was last with less than 10 minutes, so. Um, yep. Yeah, so. I do that constantly now in my, in my semester project. I'm creating new tiddly wikis constantly and just, and just importing my data yeah, so from my three sheets. When you're doing these kind, this kind of work, you're importing data. You're, you know, you're you're moving things in and out. Then um, sometimes once you pollute a tiddly week, there it is again. Um, wow, those are just totally the wrong sets of tiddlers. Those are from another project altogether. Um, I have no idea. Let's try a different browser. When in doubt, open another browser. <laughs> um, here you'll have to help me learn how to save in Chrome. So tools import. Oh, I know what the problem is. I completely know what the problem is. I've been attacking the problem at the wrong end. Um, I forgot to... Um, I put the wrong data in. This is the data we want. Okay, now we have the right, I was, I, it was not a tiddlywinky, it was a stupid operator error, not a tiddlywinky error. Um, and then I didn't, I guess it was, I, yeah. It was the way I was using the CSV and JSON tool. I think. No. Oh, well, this is, this is not what I expected. I expected to have lots of problems with this exercise, not at this point. Um, I've got my Tiddly CRM sample data working, Steve, if you want to show yeah. that off instead. No, I want mine to work. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, have to do, I have to do this. This is not just for, you know. But the, the point of actually spending so much of your valuable time on this is to actually show you the process that you know you really go through. So when it you know it's not the ideal um but it's templating exercise to the that the open. Um don't know I'm in Chrome, that's why. Um I don't know why it didn't ask me if I want to save my changes. That got me a little worried. So let's just save that. Okay. And um, I'm 
that looks much better. And I've only got the tiddlers that I'm looking for. And um, wow, it works. So what we're seeing here, um, looking at my transmitting tiddler, um, we have code that says, list all the links that are tagged to this. And that's what we asked for. Um, if we go to this figure, um, called Transcribing While Writing to Think, um, we get a little bit of code that says links. Not sure what we were after there. Um, ah, we had asked for it to transclude these guidelines, which is what I was going to write, because I figured this was going to be done by 7.30, but now it's going to take me till tomorrow. Um, So the, these guidelines came in, and this is the piece, this becomes what I have to write. Um, and then you'll have three steps that you're going to follow. Um, And so I'll put in instructions there, uh, um, just to give you an idea of what that's going to look like. Um, and then you'll see that those are coming through here. Okay. Um, and then the uh, last... You've got a list links filter in there at the moment. What's that? Okay, you've got a list links filter in there at the moment under yeah. guidelines for documenting and reflecting. Yep, and there's no links yet. So when the links are built, no, they automatically show up. Sweet. That's why there's nothing there. So it's sort of anticipatory a little bit. Um, yep. And then let me give you a, the template. Um, this is what a template looks like. Um, doesn't look like the readings are coming through appropriately. Let's see why. The reference link is there. Oh, I changed the name from link to reference link in my spreadsheet. So that's something that I have to fix. And this is exactly the process of getting these things to work and getting your spreadsheet to talk to your Tiddly Week. Um, so looking for the templates, we'll go to hypertext template. Um, templating. There we go. Um, let's look at the techniques being practiced template. Um, it's tagged and it should be giving you the title. So let's see if we've got any of them. Okay, so which one are you looking at now, sorry? We're looking at techniques being practiced template, which techniques being practiced. we'll have to find okay, that's tagged with techniques being practiced. Oh, I see it. Um, it's right here. And for some reason, the template should be showing up here, but it's not. <laughs> Um, so what that does is tell me that this is not quite right, and I think I see it because these need to be double quotes and not single quotes, uh, I think. So we'll see, and um, not quite yet, um, but we should be seeing something down here in the you know, to get the tiddlers to work. And I'm not to get the templates to work. Yeah, that should work. Um, so what this tells me is that I've got some debugging to do. Um, I thought I had done it, but I'll play with it. So that gives you an idea of how you might um, kind of work through the process and you see that I'm halfway through, I thought I was done, um, of building a Thinking through, of a, thinking through a project, or a document in this case, imagine what your kids are going to look like, trying to imagine their text and their tags, and then... Actually, Steve. Or to kind of make the whole document at once, or at least significant parts of it. So Actually, Steve, it is working. Go ahead, Tegar. Yeah, sorry. It is working. It's just that it won't show on the template itself. If you go to your techniques being practiced tiddly with uh, Tiddler, it's... It shows there perfectly. Oh, it does? Yes. Um, 
Yes, you won't see the result in the template, but you will see the result in the tiddler, which I didn't is being transcluded with the template. I didn't see it. So it should be right here in tagging while writing to think. No, no, in, in techniques being practiced. Because your techniques being practiced template says it wants to show on is current tag te techniques being practiced. Yeah. Yeah, it, it should be showing up in all of those, but it's not. So my templates aren't quite um, doing what they want to do. Let me see if the practices are working. Um, all the templates should be the same, so I should be able to navigate to something called practices. Um, oh, no, sorry. I didn't notice you had a list link filter in there as well, separately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you none of my, my mistake work. on that. Sorry. Yeah, none of my templates work, and that's good. You know, it's not really <laughs> why they don't work, but um, what it tells me that none, it's better that none of them work than some of them work because they all have exactly the same code. So the, the the technique then is to fix the code in TiddlyWiki, go back to the spreadsheet and fix it, and then keep moving on. So um, I have another group coming in. <laughs> I'm going to stop my share here. Um, and there's a few folks showing up. Um, and so we're going to stop our um, tiddly talking, although Doug was probably enjoying it, um, and move on to ID.